Anytime that we pull anybody over, you ask them, have you had anything to drink this evening? I didn't pour, no, we didn't, we didn't drink at all. What you're going to do? I'm listening. Well, I see the sobriety checkpoint. Uh, well, I'm sober. I can pass this thing. Just like so. I'm just nervous. What am I doing? When he put the cuffs on me, my heart just sunk. What? Probably had about, I don't know, five or six beers, you know. Been arrested for driving under the influence of alcohol. They're DUI, so it's a felony. Right now, I'm facing beers in prison. Scared to death. If I get a felony, I can lose my job. I gotta have my son as everything to me. Kiss, kiss. Love you. I don't want to go to jail. Anytime that we pull anybody over, you ask them, have you had anything to drink this evening? I didn't pour, no, we didn't, we didn't drink at all. A lot of them will say no, and you can, you can smell the alcohol. Well, I'll tell you what, you can't have that beer now. Oh, man, look at that. Oh, my God. I cannot believe it. You just stay in there. Hey, man, you got guilty written all over your face. I'm jealous. I want in on this party. Turn around, put your hands behind your back for me. Go put your forehead on the car and leave it there. At a checkpoint, what we're doing is checking for license, insurance sometimes, mainly looking for DUIs. This is a good spot because we have a casino within a mile or so from us, uh, a couple of local bars, and they'll, they'll usually come out on the county roads instead of up on the highway. She came upon my checkpoint with slurred speech, red bloodshot eyes. You stand here with like this? Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. Stand like this while I talk to you. Yeah, stand like this while I talk to you. You're going to count nine steps forward, just like so. I'm just nervous. Can we get through to help her in case she falls? She needed help to balance. Uh, we'd have to continue to watch her to make sure she didn't fall over for her own safety. Really important you listen. What we're going to do is we're going to take nine steps forward and nine steps back. Go ahead and start. And on the nine-step walk and turn, once again, couldn't follow any of the instructions, stepped off balance many times, and continued to say that she was nervous and she'd stop and she'd want to talk, and she wouldn't continue the test like she was told to do. My name is Jody. I live in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm 41 years old. I do home health care for a living. You want to check my breath? Yeah, we will. We will. We'll give you that option, okay? When he put the cuffs on me, my heart just sunk. I tried to tell him, please, please don't do this to me because I've never been in no trouble. The facial features were very, very relaxed. I don't think that she's had alcohol to drink. I think this is going to be pill related. Well, you're not passing my test very good, so what we're going to do, listen to me. Mm -hmm. We're going to take the next step. I'm going to give you the opportunity to take the state's test, which is going to be a blood test, okay? Mm -hmm. She's opted to take the state's blood test. So we're going to go to the hospital. We're going to draw her blood to see what exactly is in her system. I have never been arrested before, no trouble. I scared to death. I work for home health care, and if I get a felony, I can lose my job. As we turned there on uh, Ladder Road, I noticed they pulled out of the a convenience store and the driver wasn't wearing a seat belt. Do you go by James? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'd appreciate you not blowing smoke in my face, okay? Well, step out. I want to give you a field sobriety test. Got any weapons on you? Put your hands on the trunk of the car. 
as soon as I walked up, I could smell a strong odor. It's commonly associated with alcoholic beverage coming from the car. I want you to imagine the imaginary line running right here. You know, I'm not drunk, you know, if he gets me out to do these uh, DUI tests, I can pass them, you know, and, you know I know I can. You're going to take nine hill the toe steps down the line? Okay, begin. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three. He stumbled several times on the walk and turn. Okay. Now, James, what you need to do now is turn around, put your hands behind your back. Okay. Turn around. Okay. Okay. You're under arrest for driving under the influence of alcohol. My name is James. I'm uh, 26 years old, and I reside in Ada. Everything just come down on me. I was uh, celebrating that I got my diploma from welding school, and I was pretty happy about that. Went to a buddy's house, said, hey, I graduated, show my certificate. Probably had about, I don't know, five or six beers, you know. Should have went straight to my granny to see my son, and I wouldn't even be in this predicament. Now I got my son waiting on me. Hey, James, I got to read something to you. Go ahead, come on. All right, you've been arrested. The arresting officer has reasonable grounds to believe that you're driving or an actual physical control of a motor vehicle while under the influence of intoxicants. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't mean to cut you off, but you pulled me over for no seatbelt. So mm -hmm. that right there says you pulled me over because you thought that I was drinking or something. No, I didn't. Could you repeat that one more time? It says you've been arrested, uh -huh. and the arresting officer has reasonable grounds to believe that you're driving or in actual physical control of a motor vehicle while under the influence of intoxicants. You're requested to submit to a test or test for the purpose of determining the presence and or concentration of intoxicants in your body. Will you take the state's test? No, I don't want to take test. As a consequence, your driver's license will be revoked or denied by the Department of Public Safety. So you don't want to take it? No. Nope. Okay. Ain't looking good. You graduated from Tulsa Welding School uh, yesterday and in jail now. <laughs> I want to be 1015 and route to the Pontiac County Jail. Can I get my diploma, Luther? You want your diploma? Yeah. The last two months I've been working, I just showed them my degree, so they're gonna up my pay a lot more. And now I'm going to jail for my third DUI, so I don't think it's gonna matter anymore. You proud of that? Yeah, I'm proud of that. I put huh? my butt off for it. For the last seven months, you know, I've been doing good, you know, I mean, I had a good job. You know, I had a lot going for me, and now I'm stuck square one again. What am I gonna do? The officer took me down to the hospital and ran blood test on me, and then they took me to jail. I'm scared. Why well, I see the sobriety checkpoint. I don't think nothing of it. I'm, well, I'm sober. I can pass this thing. But I couldn't pass it. And I'm trying to tell him I've never been in trouble and I'm nervous. And he's like, turn around, and he puts the handcuffs on me. Stand over the waist. Hand let go of your hands. When I take the step off, I'm going to put you on your hand. Your hand on your head, you understand me? Mm -hmm. Okay. When I walked into the jail, I got aggravated because I know I shouldn't have been there. On her head. There you go. Jody, she's never done anything wrong, you know, since we've been together. She's the most honest person I know. She doesn't do drugs or alcohol. I mean, she's drank before, but that's it. Occasionally, I'll have a drink, like a margarita, but. It's not why I'm driving myself. Because I'm scared to death of going to jail. This is not the place for me. Separate your feet for me. She's aggravated. 
because I can lose my license with this. I won't be able to drive to work. Turn around for me. Open your mouth. Tongue up. Tongue up. There you go. Here's a list of bondsmen to bond out with. Do you know what you're being charged with? Do you want it? Okay. Well, thank you. I can do that tonight. If you post bond, yes. How much? Do you know how much that is? Thousand dollars. That's okay. I love her with all my heart, and the thought of her going through this just, you know, it was very disturbing for me. It's my third DUI, and it's a felony, and I don't know what's going to happen from here on out. Yeah. He's got stuff in his pockets. So okay. What do you only got in your pockets? Some money. Phone, money. Nothing illegal. Knives, weapons, or anything. Any kind? AK-47. I'm just playing. Cool. I got that. All right. I'm going to take this handcuff off your hand and put it on your head. You understand? Yep. Okay. You can have a seat. You're in line when you go up to him. Soon as we get you out. This is messed up. Like, a lot of things going through my head right now. And am I gonna go to jail for a long time? You know, I don't, I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, there's two DUIs in here. I bet you those are you. You can't lean on the counter and you guys stand the box. Uh, and it's zero bond, correct? Third DUI? Yeah. Yeah. Since it's his third DUI, they'll have to contact the uh, judge for a bond. So I have to go to the weekend and Monday till Tuesday in jail to see the judge. Tuesday is when I start back at work, so I really don't want to lose my job. I wonder what his mind's gonna be like. I hope I can get out. Just relax and let me do it. Face that direction. Okay. You see your tattoos on your arms, or put both your hands out like this. That affects my son, you know what I mean, right now. Right arm? I'm sitting in jail and he's out there waiting on me. My son, you know, his grandma told him I was in jail, and, uh, you know, he was upset, you know. She said, uh, she asked him while I was on the phone, are you mad at daddy? He said, yeah, I'm mad. Think about it every night while I'm sitting in jail. You're free to use the phone. Okay, thank you. Help me get out of here now. I know I'm not drunk. Because I did not pass the sobriety test. My boyfriend's got a bondsman. He's already contacted. She's probably on her way down right now to take care of me. No, this is ridiculous. Because I am not drunk. Okay, may I go ahead and sign? All right, how's your night tonight? Has it been busy? It seems to be I get the majority of my calls in the middle of the night. I always do a background check on someone before I post their bell. Um, so she has had recent traffic tickets, but she doesn't have a criminal history at all. JD was clear. They called me and I signed a bond and then they put me in a line to sign on out. I know the family, they're adamant she does not drink and they're completely baffled as to why she was be arrested for a DUI. Thank you, Marty. I love you, too. She's, no, never, she's never had any problems with the law, with drugs or anything. The only thing I know about is seatbelt tickets. I'm going back home to go to bed so I can get up in the morning and go to work. been here about six days. Worked so hard to, to be where I'm at now, and then just goes away just like that one night. The fact that it's my third DUI, you know, it's, it's a felony. Right now I'm facing one to five years in prison. I think all night long about my son, all my problems, I'm scared. Today's the day of my arraignment. I'm gonna ask the judge for the sentence. My biggest fear right now is going to prison. That's all I'm thinking about. And if I uh, have to do a year, you know, my son's four right now. He'll be uh, about five, five and a half, about five and a half years old. That is a huge son, you know, out of his life that I'm, that I'm missing. 
Right now, I have to see the judge through a video camera. Is your true and correct name James? Yes, sir. The state of Oklahoma has filed a felony charge of driving a motor vehicle while under the influence of alcohol. That carries one of 10 years in the state. Penitentiary and a fine of up to $2,500. Do you have any questions? Uh, sir, I, I just graduated from uh, Tulsa Welding School. I just got a job, make sixteen fifty an hour. There's no way I'm going to spend a sentence, and I'm paying any fine that you give me. At this time, the state's not making a recommendation. Your bond will be set at $10,000. There's a requirement that you obtain a scram alcohol monitoring bracelet. Oh, hit me at once, you know. When I bond out, I have to have a alcohol ankle monitor. And my mother, she called and, uh, the place that manufactures the ankle monitor was out, so they have to order some. So it's gonna take a whole week for me to sit in jail and wait. There's a lot going through my mind right now. I'm just kinda at a crossroads, I don't know. What I fear is losing my license, going to jail. My notes indicate the state has announced that there is a pending lab analysis. You know, if uh, things didn't work out today and I go to jail, it's going to hurt my son, definitely, because he's not going to be able to see his daddy. You've been charged with driving under the influence, second subsequent offense. How do you wish to plead? What I fear is losing my license, going to jail, the cost of all this. It's just ridiculous, especially when I'm, I wasn't drunk. I'm ready to, for this to all be over. I can't see how she could be convicted when she hasn't done anything, you know? I mean, I know the blood test is going to come out negative. My notes indicate the state has announced that no charges are currently filed, but the, uh, there is a pending uh, lab analysis. The case is, uh, needs to be passed. Uh, at some point in this process, you need to get an attorney. Okay. I assume you know that. Right. All right. So looks like there are no resolution on this case. Uh, thank okay. You. Thank you. Free to go. charges were dropped, it was a relief. I do home health care for a living. That could come back where I could lose my, you know, where I can't work because I, I do a lot of driving. The whole situation would have cost me a lot. If I could talk to that officer, I would tell him, you know, you made one of the biggest mistakes you could ever made because, you know, Jody, she doesn't do drugs or alcohol and she's never even tried drugs, you know. The last thing I uh, hate to do is uh, get in a car after having a drink and cause an accident and hurt somebody because my profession is taking care of people. <laughs> you gonna jump out, Alan? Yes, I can go. <laughs> well, we're about to go to court in about 30 minutes and. Right now, I'm trying to keep my mind off of it. I'm playing with my son, you know, and just kind of nervous. Slide, baby, slide. Go. <laughs> I wouldn't be doing this with my son right now if I was in jail, and that's, I don't want to go to jail. You got him? Keep going. Next one. Uh, I got to have my son. He's everything to me. <laughs> kiss, kiss, kiss. I love you. Okay. You know, if uh, things didn't work out today and I go to jail, then, um, you know, it's going to really hurt me and my son. It's going to hurt my son, definitely, because he's not going to go see his daddy. Hopefully, everything works out right. Approach the bench. 
You've been charged with driving under the influence, second subsequent offense. How do you wish to plead? Uh, no contest. And do you believe that no contest plea is in your best interest? Yes, sir. Defendant is guilty as charged. The court is hereby find that the defendant shall be sentenced to a term of 10 years with all but the first 30 days deferred, that 30 days to be served in the Pontotoc County Jail or a 28-day inpatient treatment facility. So what that means, I'm gonna allow you to seek treatment because you seem to be taking a positive approach to uh, this recent incident. Yes, sir. There's a fine of $1,000. There being nothing further, we'll be adjourned. You know, I'm lucky not to go to jail, you know. A lot of people go to jail on your third DUI, so I'm I'm lucky that I'm going to go to rehab. After I uh, go to rehab, I'm planning on, uh, you know, moving uh, to Tulsa, you know, getting me a good job up there, you know. You know, I have a son to take care of, you know. I don't need to be out drinking and driving, you know. And looks like I'm about to learn the hard way, so, but I'm going to learn. <laughs>